While two separate agencies agreed 2015 was the hottest year yet tracked, you were probably too sweaty to read about the mini casino built for rats, the for real this time stroller that follows parents, and the death proof car. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we've simply grown accustomed to getting around in four wheeled death traps. Volvos are already some of the safest cars on the road, but the company has a new ambitious goal to build a death proof automobile by 2020. It won't be a roll cage or additional airbags. Volvo hopes to integrate safety systems like adaptive cruise control and pedestrian detection to effectively create the company's first autonomous car. I don't see what the big deal is. We've had death proof cars for ages. Is it safe? No, oh, it's better than safe. It's death proof. Just admit it, VW punked all of us with its fake autonomous stroller. If it still smarts though, don't worry. Smart B wants to be the first real intelligent stroller fully loaded with features usually found in luxury cars and of course at a similar price point. Completely decked out, the Smart BS not only pushes itself, the company promises climate control, a sound system, anti-theft sensors, webcams, microphones, and yes, even a smartphone app. Now, about that self-changing diaper. All right, let's do this. <coughs> if buying a non-existent $3,000 stroller doesn't sound risky, maybe lay off the flashing lights. Canadian researchers are studying what creates gambling addiction with rats poor little addicts. They started by teaching the rats how to avoid risky gambling decisions for treats, which they did, no problem. But when the lights and music of a casino floor were added, they lost all common sense. I think we expected that adding these stimulating signals, these lights and cues would, uh, would have an effect, but we didn't realize that it would shift decision making so much. Next up, testing drugs that block dopamine receptors so the little guys can finally chill out. And this particular drug has shown a lot of promise as a potential treatment for addictions. And finally, researchers at the German Aerospace Center landed a UAV on the roof of a car traveling about 47 miles per hour. The coolest part is that the drone matched its speed to the car before landing. The platform can be made smaller in the future, so don't worry, net cars are not in your future. This episode was brought to you by Go90.